What's up guys, Dawnday605 here and what, welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to use Cheat Engine in the old rec room the right way. This is an updated version of my tutorial because in the last tutorial other people could not uh, seem to like uh, spawn certain things. There was something wrong with the code uh, in my uh, script here. But this is through, the, instead of actually showing that to you guys here, that is the script by me. Uh, this is actually made by, uh, this is scripted uh, by the actual rec room uh, assets uh, manager. So you can actually basically just spawn like whatever you want. Like you can spawn like the bosses, you can spawn the weapons, you can give me infinite ammo. But this is also going to be like a uh, comprehensive, you know, like fully fledged guide to how to use cheat engine rec room in general. So it's not just going to be about like spawning certain things. It's actually going to be like a, a fully, uh, extensive guide on how to it's like a exhaustive guide of how to get it done so for that for ado let's get started by the way uh i do have a uh, cheat engine in my github page uh if you don't know where my github repository is i'll probably upload it in there and uh and i'll probably post an update to my youtube page where i can actually like put it in there as well now i'm not i'm pretty sure that my uh my GitHub repository is either forked or DMCA'd. I don't know which one. And without further ado, let's get it. So first off, you know you're gonna need a couple things. One, you're gonna need a uh, cheat engine, which is the, the the exe setup, which I have. I'll have linked down below for you guys uh, in this video too. Uh, then you're gonna need Reborn Rec or any uh, server software that starts up a bit the build you want. For this case, I'm gonna use Reborn Rec. And, uh, second, third, or actually, uh, you're going to need a build from Rec Room, just which any build doesn't matter what it is, as long as it can run from the server and also send and receive data from Rec Room, Rec.net. So here's how it's going to go down. So I'm going to start a build. Well, first I got to launch the server first. Oh, and, uh, another thing to keep in mind is that a lot of people kept on asking me like why uh, they couldn't move and stuff like that well here's how to fix that in your steam uh, menu by the way uh you go to your library and if you happen to have rec room the official rec room installed go to this little gear icon uh that says manage uh and uh hit uninstall and then just uninstall it, and that should uninstall the official rec room. Does not have anything to do with any of your other builds. It just uninstalls that build, so it does not interrupt your actual bindings for the old rec room builds. That's why it does that because uh, whenever you like install the real rec room, it'll like uh, mess up your bindings on the other builds because it gets confused. It doesn't know how to like uh, determine which build is the correct build, and since two builds are installed on the same build of rec room. It'll think they're both installed, so it'll just pick one and then leave the other one in the dust. Which, you can see where I'm going with on this one. And press 5. There we go. Now we're going to launch the build that we want. Um, for any instance, I'm going to go to my E drive. Huh, e for Evan, you know what I mean, right? <laughs> Oh, actually, I haven't seen that before. <laughs> it didn't even... Oh. The height sensitivity on this is so freaking sensitive. Yeah, so this does have screenless support. Okay. Okay, it's private. We're good. Okay, so what you want to do is open up Cheat Engine. Mine's going to be like... Right here, it has, to have to, it has to say DBK64 loaded. Uh, what you want to do after that, also, a lot of people have been telling me uh, that they've been getting like the DBK64 drivers has not been loaded or something like that. Well, to fix that, we have to go into uh, I'm, uh, we have to go into edit and then settings, and then go into extra and then make sure read and write process memory will is enabled. Don't check up any of these other ones because they're not needed. Otherwise, you might get a blue screen. I'm not sure if that actually applies, but, you know. Then go into the processes, go into rec room, and boom. Now, here's where the fun begins. We get to actually edit the memory inside the game. 
Now, how do we do that? Well, that's very simple. So let me break this down. So whatever consumable you are trying to replace, to find that in consumable tools. You can just find it in food. And su Supreme Pizza, it's always going to be two capitalized first letters. And then all, all the rest of it is lowercase. So, for example, if I want, like, let's say... I believe you can do it with potions, but I'm gonna do it with a KO. Sh no, actually, no, because it has like a little decibel, like a little uh, thing there. So I'm gonna try it with food, assorted donuts. So you can also do this with any of the foods here to make it easier. I'm just gonna for consistency. I'm gonna do root beer. So basically, the food here, like the for the name here, is actually uh, the co first two uh, words of code that go here. Like, let's say if I want cheese pizza consumable tool here, cheese pizza is actually r right around here, actually. Because uh, if you can tell, what I'm trying to tell you is that uh, whatever the co first two words are behind consumable tool is what that's going to tell you. Basically, that's all it is. You just have to actually tell, a set, type in whatever food you want behind consumer tool, and you're done. But then we have to scan it. So we hit, and let me bring this up a little bit. We hit first scan. Oh, that's right. I uh, I forgot I closed the game when I last opened it. There. Now I'll try it. There. See. Yeah, thing about it is that every time you close the game, you have to reopen the process. So there you go. Now here's how to actually change it from cheese pizza to anything you want. For example, if I want to change it to something specific like a shotgun or a boss, I want I'm gonna test it on this uh, golden trophy quest boss uh, code to see if I actually got it correct. So what I'm gonna do here is that I'm gonna click here. Uh, double click on here and then actually do uh, click on here control a control and then a and then B And then you hit make sure act some people are telling me that you don't have to hit active Well, that's actually false because if I hit active uh, if I don't hit active it is just on oh <laughs> well, I guess you don't have to hit okay if I I guess I've been never more wrong in my life. So, I, I mean, for consistency, I'm going to still do it, but that's kind of interesting. Okay, I started a new recording just because that other one was just kind of... Uh, I don't know if it was going to slow and load it, so that's why I didn't want like my all my recordings to go in one video. You know, just for consistency. Anyway, so what we do is four bytes. You, some people say you can do two bytes or a byte, but depending on how the uh, some anti cheats work. But because this game, the game specific version doesn't have an anti cheat, I'm just gonna go with four bytes for consistency. So if I do 22, it's gonna take a while. Okay, so it's got some valid memory uh, there. So, oh. To make this easier, I'm going to use a speed hack just to slow things down a little bit. Just to give myself a little bit of edge. Uh, so we got 22. That's 20. Yes, so here's these values right here. These are what you want. You want to like drag, highlight all of them, and then drag them. I'm gonna turn off the speed hack here, and then I'm gonna click right click, change record, and then value nine 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 nine. Don't worry, it's not what Hitler said. And then, then you basically just make sure these are active, otherwise they don't do anything, essentially. And here's the outcome of that. Yeah. 
it's something. So you see, if we look at the memory here, um, I can't see when I'm shooting at the same time. But, hang on, is there a way to dock this or something? I don't even know. Um, hang on, maybe if it's like... Yeah, you can, hang on, I got an idea. So, because we got the infinite ammo and we can spawn goblins, so these are basically, this is how you make the infinite ammo trick. Now to, to fly, I don't know. I've seen videos on how you can do it. Uh, please let me know in the comments how you can do that uh, as well. Uh, I think I'm gonna just want cheese pizza. It's not cheese pizza, that's the goblin. When you go into edit and, well actually no, it's not edit, it's memory view. And then you go into tools, you go into Lua engine. And then you basically paste your script in here. And that allows you to basically make uh, and use your mod menu for like rec room and stuff like that. Really cool stuff though. I like how the game can actually make mod menus for like any game in, out of a, just a Lua engine. That's really unique. So, anyways, that's me uh, for the day, and I am done for the day. Uh, join today and become an all star. Subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys next time. You're dismissed.